data science 360. Let's look at how Olympics is using artificial intelligence. Intel and Alibaba partnered to launch 3D athlete tracking system that use artificial intelligence and computer vision to showcase real-time data during races. Their joint collaboration takes computer vision to the next level. It uses multiple cameras to capture and feeds live footage into the cloud. It uses deep learning model to analyze an athlete's movements and identifies key performance characteristics such as top speed and deceleration. The whole process, from capturing the footage, to broadcasting the analysis, takes less than 30 seconds. Metrics that were previously unmeasurable by the naked eye are now being revealed with 3D technology. It is hands-free for athletes. It leverages cameras to film athletes, so they are free from wearing sensors or deviating from their regular training program. The system sends the video data at 60 frames per second to the cloud for analysis on Intel's Eon scalable processors. Through athlete data tracking, coaches get real-time feedback that can tell athletes when to train and when to stop to predicting sports injuries with algorithms. Let's look at how it works. The system relies on machine learning algorithms to understand the biomechanics of the movement of athletes captured by cameras and estimate the position of key body joints. As a field of artificial intelligence, computer vision enables machines to perform image processing tasks with the aim of imitating human vision. To train their model, the team had to capture as much footage of elite track and field athletes in motion as they could. In the footage, the team annotated every part of the body, eyes, nose, shoulders, and more, pixel by pixel. Once those key points were identified, the model could begin connecting them in three dimensions until it had a simplified rendering of an athlete's form. Tracking this skeleton enables the program to perform 3D pose estimation. What is pose estimation? Pose estimation is the task of using a machine learning model to estimate the pose of a person from an image or a video by estimating the spatial locations of key body joints. Taking a person, for example, the key points would be joints like the elbow, knees, wrists, etc. The key points detected are indexed by a part ID with a confidence score between 0 and 1 by the model. The confidence score indicates the probability that a key point exists in that position. Human pose estimation has been utilized in a wide range of applications, including human computer interaction, motion analysis, augmented reality, and robotics. Surfing and machine learning. The USA Surfing Organization is using big data techniques to gain an edge. They took cues from other sports that have leveraged data analytics to improve athletic performance and output, including basketball, baseball, soccer, and football. Carissa Moore, the winner of first ever Olympic surfing, beat her opponent by nearly 6.5 points. She used technology such as a wearable ring that collects data like cardiovascular output, sleep patterns, heart rate variability, and other vitals to help her coaches fine tune her training. One study showed that a surfer's ability to land in air, in which an athlete takes the board above the lip of the wave and lands on the frothy white water, was affected by a lack of ankle mobility and hip stability. But the question is how much ankle mobility and hip stability do you need? The answer requires data. The group has collected biomechanics data of its surfers using motion capture cameras and sensors installed on the surfboard that detect how much force the athletes are expending. They quantify different jumping and landing mechanics. It's also taking a machine learning approach with images of surfers' stances on boards. Machine learning also played a role in the side selection for the first surfing event in the Olympic Games. Tsuragasaki Beach is the right spot for Olympic surfing in Japan. Team had to analyze streams of data, including from satellites. Ice cover sensors bathymetric measurements, wind pattern data, and buoy measurements to come up with its recommendation for Tsurigasaki Surfing Beach. Timekeeping and Artificial Intelligence Omega has been the official timekeeper of the Olympics since 1932, and for each Games it rolls out new technologies to ensure that debuting sports have the specifications they need. Omega's latest AI-powered capabilities are on display on the Olympic Beach Volleyball Courts. It is using cameras equipped with computer vision capabilities to track the movement of beach volleyball players, as well as the ball. Omega has trained its AI to be able to identify a slew of different moves and shots, including smashes, spikes, blocks, and passes. This information is then combined with data gathered from gyroscopic sensors, sewed into the player's clothing, to give commentators real-time information on the exact movement of players and the ball.
Facial recognition. For the first time in the history of the Olympics, the facial recognition system will be used for tightening security. The system relies on its AI engine NeoFace, which is a biometric authentication technology. It will be enabled by linking the photo with an ID card of the guests. This tech will be used to identify more than 300,000 people including athletes, volunteers, media, and other staff at various entry points of venues and accommodations. This has prevented risks of fraud and reduced long ID check lines. Facial recognition is a technology that is capable of recognizing a person based on their face. It employs machine learning algorithms which find, capture, store and analyze facial features in order to match them with images of individuals in a pre-existing database. NEC will set up its needle face kiosks at the entrances to restricted location around the city to allow athletes, media, staff, and other pre-vetted personnel to enter facilities more easily. NEC's facial recognition system will rely on a combination of AI-powered scans at kiosks and ID badges given to athletes and staff. Toyota and Olympics, Q is a 6-foot 10-inch basketball robot that uses sensors on its torso to calculate the distance, angle, and strength, and then uses its motorized arms and needs to shoot the hoop. The robot was seen showing its skills at the free throw line during this year's games. Toyota's artificial intelligence-powered, humanoid basketball player Q may not be an Olympic medalist, but the robot is an athletic legend in its own right. Olympic gatekeepers since the Olympics is an international event, with players and tourists from across the country flocking to a foreign location, the organizers of the Tokyo Olympics deployed numerous robots that will be able to communicate in several languages and even carry the luggage of the guests. During the day, it guides visitors through the airport using a touch panel located at the front. In the evening, it takes on the duties of a security guard, it has also observation skills and intruder detection technology when it detects suspicious objects or left behind bags even under seats, it automatically notifies guards. Virtual reality, 3D athlete tracking system won't be the only tech on display for running fans. A virtual reality experience will be available for certain events, where fans with VR headsets can get a view that is built as a more immersive experience than just watching on TV. A similar experience was offered for selected events at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. Thank you for watching. You are amazing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. Be on lookout for more amazing content.